Today, I realized that every single day, I basically do the same thing. I nap, I work out, and I go to work. And I wanted to change that. I wanted to make something new. So I got my computer and went on YouTube. This week, I will be doing the Daisy Keach Bubble Butt Workout. If you guys don't know who she is, she's amazing. I literally love her and all credit goes to her for this. I'm not certified in anything I'm talking about in this video and I'm just trying a challenge. So this is the before. I will be taking the photos in the same pants so you guys can see a real before and after. And yeah, with all that being said, here's my journey. So when I first started this workout, it was really hard from the first movement I did because my body isn't used to doing these particular workouts. Even though I do go to Orange Theory, I don't really do these kind of workouts, so my body wasn't really used to it. The number one tip I could give you guys is to not take breaks like I did. Listen to what she is saying. Don't go on your phone randomly like I was doing throughout this video. I was just really struggling, but the key is if you keep going, you will reach success. So just listen to her breaks, only take a break when she tells you to. And I promise if you continue to do what she says, you will get there. Alright, I just finished day one of this challenge and oh my gosh, my legs and butt hurt so bad. But I am hopeful that this will work because it's not usually the exercises that I'm used to doing. So I am really excited to see the results and I'll see you guys tomorrow with an update. It is day two of this challenge and let me just say I am very sore. I wasn't expecting this to be such a sore workout just because I thought I would be used to it because of Orange Theory. But then like I said yesterday, after actually doing the workout, I realized that a lot of the exercises and moves that Daisy did in her workout, I don't usually do that often because Orange Theory is always changing up their workouts and not always focusing on one thing. So this is very different for me and I am very sore in my legs. It's a lot of hip flexion movements which really is very sore right now but we are going to keep going and I will let you guys know how day two goes so the second I started doing these workouts I really felt the soreness get worse right away but I really do think it is worth it and today I actually didn't take a break which I am very proud of myself for always credit yourself when you make an improvement on something because that is really important and will help you reach success and keep going Alright, I just finished day two and my hip flexors are burning so bad, it's not even funny. But today, exercise wise, since it is repetitive, I am getting used to it, so that is always a good thing. I will see you guys tomorrow for day three. Day three and pretty much the same updates that I have for you guys, so not much to say, but I will update you guys after the workout and let you know how I'm feeling then. Honestly, just really sore right now and want to take a rest day, but I can't. We have to keep going and we are going to keep going. As you guys can see, I am just repeating the same exercises on each day, but let me just say, don't think that it wasn't hard because it was so hard. I just finished day three and oh my gosh, I am literally going to cry. I am so sore, but it's okay. We're going to keep going. I'm going to keep saying that throughout this whole entire video because it's important to keep going. I know in her video, she said that she was very sore and her hip flexors and butt were burning. So I know that it's normal, but oh my gosh. Day four was honestly very challenging for me. When I started the workout, I wasn't really feeling motivated and throughout the workout, even though I didn't stop, I was really not motivated and very, very sore. Day four just ended and I don't know, I feel like day four was a lot harder than I expected it to be just because I thought I was getting used to the workouts, but it was really hard for me to actually get through the workouts today. I kept wanting to quit because, ow. 
It's day five now and honestly the soreness did get a lot better. I think it's just because I kept going and I'm actually getting used to the workout that I'm doing which I guess is good for me to be more motivating but I did want to come on here really quick and talk about something. So throughout this whole entire video I have been in a lot of workout pain and because of that I obviously am not always the most motivated to do the workout in the morning or whenever I am doing it and I wanted to say that I actually did try this workout so many times before and I have quit like three times and that is something that I was so hard on myself about so this time I was just like I need to do it for a week the results may not be what I am expecting they might be who knows will it actually change in a week I don't know maybe maybe not probably not that much but I wanted to believe in myself to actually finish the challenge and we're on day five so I only have two more days left after today and I'm really excited so if you are someone who needs some motivation just remember that you can do anything you set your mind to and if you truly believe that it is true also I got questions in one of my videos that I was wearing this shirt in of where it's from this is Haley Pham's merch I literally love her so definitely go check her out if you don't know who she is but I'm sure a lot of you do because she's amazing Alright, I just finished day five and honestly it really wasn't that bad. Like I said, I wasn't too sore today so it was easier to get through the workout and I'm honestly happy with day five because I feel really motivated which is always good. It's day six and I'm so excited that this is almost over so I can show you guys the results. I don't know if there's that much of a change like I said, but I am happy that either way I will have completed this workout today. I am honestly not feeling too sore. I feel it a little but not that much which is the best feeling. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into this workout so I can get it over with, have one more day and then show you guys the results tomorrow and give you my absolute opinions on this workout. just finished day six and I did it with my hair down so I'm really sweaty you probably can't tell on camera but honestly I really really liked today's workout I feel really motivated and I'll see you guys tomorrow it's day seven and I am so excited I am almost about to be done so let me just finish this really quick and then I will show you guys the results all right guys I just finished day seven and honestly I'm happy that it's over because I am again very sore but I'm going to show you the results and then give you my full opinion on the workout and everything like that All right, so overall what I think about this little workout program that Daisy actually recommended and showed us is that it's really good. I think that it really did tone my butt, but I don't think that it actually grew in size. However, that is probably because I only did it for a week. So I do think it grew because now it's more toned, but I don't think it grew like size wise, but that's okay because it does look more toned. So I do recommend doing it. And I think if you do it for a longer amount of time, maybe like two weeks or a month or whatever you wanna do, I think then it could actually you know like transform your butt if that's what you wanted to do but keep in mind that is just me talking off of my own opinion I'm not actually certified in anything that I'm talking about just to make that clear but I'm going to have pictures on the screen right here so this is the before this is the after wearing the same pants and then this is the after wearing different pants so just so you guys can see all the different comparisons but that is basically it I did really like the workout and it is a workout that is very different from what I usually do so it's always nice to have that different kind of range in there but with all that being said if you guys like the video be sure to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more content for me and also let me know down below if there's any other workout challenges you guys want me to do i can do the 12 3 30 treadmill workout if you wanted me to do that literally anything i'll do so please let me know down below in the comments and with all that being said thank you guys again for watching leave me a comment down below because it really does help my channel grow and i will see you guys in my next one bye